to Wine Time. I'm your host, Kate Volton. This is where we talk about all things business, all things mummy, and we do it over wine. And today I added flowers because I'm feeling springy and I'm, I'm very hopeful that spring is right around the corner. If you haven't already, go grab a glass of wine and come on back because today I'm interviewing Rayleigh Melton, the founder of Moth Media. It's wine time. So welcome to the second edition of Happy Hour. Happy Hour is where I'm going to be interviewing different business experts on wine time. And I couldn't be more excited to have Rayleigh Melton join us today, the founder of Moth Media. Not only is Rayleigh a graduate of my Moms and Biz Elite eCourse, she is a social media guru bar none. And she's a mom. So I'm super excited for you guys to get to know Rayleigh and learn because she's gonna be sharing her best social media mom tips. Hi Rayleigh, welcome to the show. I'm so stoked that you're here with us and I just said stoked, I actually said stoked. Anyways, why don't you start by telling our viewers a little bit about yourself. Thank you so much for having me on the show today. You can see I'm enjoying a glass of wine with you here in Des Moines, Iowa. A little bit about me, I'm a wife, a mom, a business owner, and I was so excited when I got the chance to discover your program. I have a 13-year-old daughter that we are just experiencing social media with, and a 5-year-old son that seems to be able to use the tablet and YouTube better than I can. I hear you about 5-year-olds on iPads or tablets. They seem to be able to navigate technology way faster than I can and there doesn't even seem to be a learning curve. I can see my three-year-old at the computer driving the mouse. It still blows me away. I'd love for you to share with us your top tips on how to better leverage social media, specifically for moms in business. You're a mom and you're a social media expert, so I'm hoping maybe you can shed some light on this for our viewers. Well, a couple of the tips that I use is I always arrive to networking events or client events about five to seven minutes early. This gives me time to check in and to tweet about the event prior to actually being there. You certainly don't want to be inside the event spending time on your phone when you could spend that time talking to people. Another thing to do is to use a program schedule, scheduler like Hootsuite. What this does is for about $10 a month it allows you to program in your posts so you don't have to be live all the time. That really helps throughout your day when you're busy meeting with customers and picking up the kids. My last tip is when it's my week for the carpool to pick up the kids at school, I arrive about 30 minutes early and this gives me some time to get caught up on social media. I can even make customer calls and I just tap into the guest Wi-Fi at the school. And then I even have a chance to catch up on some reading. So those are just a couple ways that you can squeeze social media into your day without it adding to your day. Thanks, Rayleigh. I really, really enjoy your tip about arriving five to seven minutes early to an event. I think that's bang on. There's no reason why any mom can't do that no matter how busy we are. You get there five minutes early and you make a quick tweet. Even staying five minutes afterwards is great as well. You can, you can tweet how the event was. I think that can be a really good use of time. And I love the example of, of carpooling and waiting outside to pick up your kids from school. You have time. Why not do some income producing activity during that time? And I love that you're, you're kind of stealing the school's Wi-Fi. I think that's great. I hear a lot from my clients. They want to know what social media site to be using. And I know this is not a simple question to answer because it depends on your business, your industry, and what the client's business really is. But I'm curious to know from you what you think is your biggest bang for buck when it comes to social media. My answer to this actually might surprise you. I believe that Twitter has more capabilities than most of the other social media profiles or platforms rather. What Twitter can allow you to do is because it's so public, it allows you to actually reach out to anybody that you want. So opposed to Facebook where the privacy settings are in such a way that your business posts aren't being seen like they used to be. So what Twitter does is you can create lists and really start to follow people, not only your customers, but your ideal customers. And when you start doing this and favoriting and retweeting their posts, they see that and then you can start a conversation with them. 
Now, always remember to get anything out of social media. You are going to have to take that next step and actually contact them for the sale. So don't forget that. I'm actually not surprised by Twitter. Twitter's, a, I think, a pretty under-leveraged social media site. Or maybe not under-leveraged, but maybe the word I should be using is misunderstood. I know you have a really solid following on Twitter, so congratulations on that, and thanks for sharing your insights. I'm hoping you can share with my viewers what was your biggest takeaway from my Moms and Biz Elite eCourse? Well, I have a couple. I couldn't just pick one, of course. One of them is the positive affirmations. I think that as moms and business owners, all of us can struggle from time to time with our confidence. And I just love watching that affirmations and working that into my day and just taking a few minutes for myself. Another thing that I really like is the thought that I don't have to be a super mom. So instead of trying to put myself way up here and I'm gonna do everything, kind of coming back down to earth and remembering that I don't have to be everything to everyone. My last thing that I just really, really loved with the course was the scheduling that you had in there. So the different calendars and how to keep things separate, that really helps me. I work from home and so having different calendars that apply to different household members makes sense as opposed to me trying to keep it all in my head or on my laptop where nobody else knows what I'm doing or where I'm at. And I just was so, again, so thrilled and so happy with the course. Thank you so much for making it. Thanks so much, Rayleigh. I love that you're doing the positive affirmation video every single morning. I know for me it completely changed my the way I would think, the way I would set myself up for success during the day. I would make sure that I was always starting with that positive frame of mind. And those affirmations that you're using are the exact same ones that I use every single day. Really, thank you so much for being on Wine Time today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule as a mom and business owner to be on the show today. So thank you. Maybe you could leave us with telling viewers where they could find out a little bit more about Moth Media. You can visit more about me at www.moth-media.com. Thanks. This wine time. Well, I hope you enjoyed our second edition of Happy Hour here on Wine Time. I had a great time. I really appreciate Rayleigh being on the show. She gave us some great insights into social media. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Wine Time. That way it'll automatically show up in your inbox each and every week. And be sure to download my free ebook. What's better than a free ebook? My Moms and Biz Survival Guide. All kinds of great tips on how to survive mummyhood and you guessed it business. And also be sure to check out katebolton.com for all kinds of other great resources. So until next week, enjoy your wine. Your mom and the